Hey everybody, Ivanka. Welcome to our Kentucky home. This is just a little follow-up video to my previous video. I um, ran out and got uh, basically what John and I are able to do. Um, I had waited around today because he had asked everybody at his work yesterday if they wanted to bring something, you know, to bring it to him and we would get it down there nobody brought anything so um i went out like i said and i did what we could do so our local save a lot uh, some of you may be familiar with save a lot grocery stores uh, but they had certain cans of things 10 for 10 so um the chef boyardee their beefaroni and the raviolis um and a couple other things were 10 for 10. So I got, I think, 20. I got 10 of the beefaroni and 10 of ravioli. And the good thing about these cans is they're the flip tops. They won't have to have a can opener for those. But something else they had that were 10 for 10 were some of their cans of soup. I got, I think... 10 chicken noodle and then there's 10 I don't know where they are I guess they're in there with the 10 are chicken and chicken and rice or something like that and I got a case of 48 cans of tuna they are they were 99 cents a can so I got four a whole case for 48 of those and then I got a whole case of the we call them Vienna sausages here, but the Vienna sausage. So those are a case of 48. They were like 89 cents a piece. So I thought, well, that's that's not bad. So, um, so then I went to Dollar General, as you can see, and I'm going to actually run down to the garage and see if I can find a tote to put these things in. These things from Dollar General, but I got a whole variety of stuff. I think this whole bag is tooth um, toothbrushes and toothpaste they actually had i think there were only five of these that had the toothbrush in with the toothpaste so i got several of, of those the toothpaste and toothbrushes and then i got cleaners um surface cleaner this has sponges in it um there's a couple of body washes in here and i think these are all shampoo and this has more, um, this has um, dishwashing liquid, which you can use dishwashing liquid for anything. I mean, if, if people needed to, they could wash their bodies with it. But, I mean, they can wash clothes. What it, I mean, you can, you can use dishwashing liquid for a lot of things. And I got some of these disposable gloves. They only had three or four packs of them. I only stopped at one Dollar General. I could have went to another one and got more, but I didn't. I only stopped at one but some more body washes down in there this one has more sponges more cleaners cleaners more cleaners down in there and there was two bottles of this uh, spray hydrogen peroxide i grabbed those and i think all of this one is a bunch of shampoo and body washes and there's another, there's some more dishwashing liquid that can be used for a lot of different things. This one is baby wipes. And then I got four of these. These are the refill bottles of that awesome cleaner. And I don't know if any of you have ever used that, but it is great cleaner. So I got four of those. All of this I got off of Dollar General's Dollar shelves you know how they have that one long shelf usually in every store that has everything on it is a dollar so all of these all of this stuff i got from dollar general was only a dollar including these jugs so all right i'm going to head down to my pastor's place of business he is a barber so i'm going to the barber shop to drop these things off because he's going down to Tennessee tomorrow to take all of the stuff that he has um, 
has gathered in donations. So day two of, let me turn this down here, Get the air conditioning glaring. Day two of hauling um, goods down to Tennessee uh, for the relief mission uh, for North Carolina and Eastern Tennessee. We've, uh, we, the wife hauled down uh, a load yesterday of stuff that we got and um, I've got um, a load there and, and stuff all piled in the cab of the truck down here. Um, those people need help and they're going to need help for a long time. We all know what the government's doing. These ABC agencies want to look good and take credit for everything, but um, they're our neighbors, friends, Christians. Our church and other churches have put together a, a, a drive. A local company down here in Tennessee has volunteered a tractor trailer. I'm not sure how much is in it, but last night there was quite a bit in it. And um, these people need our help. And as as humans, as Christians, we're supposed to help. So I'm going to head on down there now and get down there. And hopefully the truck isn't completely full. And as uh, soon as it's full, they're going to they're going to head to another church in North Carolina. They're not going to a a FEMA site or, or anything like that. That that's what we're hearing is bad news. Uh, the Baptist churches are going to be giving away all this stuff uh, to people that need it there in the mountains. So stay tuned. I made it down here to Tennessee. I've got this to unload, and Mark has been unloading, and and you can see the trucks getting filled up. There's still plenty of room in it. Um, Cordell Trucking is when it's volunteered this the truck and a driver. Um, it's mighty gracious of them, but uh, we're having to move some stuff around in the truck to make room. So I'm going to get with it and keep helping here. All right, I'm headed back for Kentucky. Uh, helped uh, brother Mark there move some stuff up, pack the front of that trailer real good, get that, some of that water set down so it don't fall all around and help them unload a truck or two. A lady pulled in, helped her get unloaded and uh, so we're headed back north. Uh, we sure uh, we sure hope uh, uh, it's a blessing to those folks. I know it will be. They need help. We, um, we, we know it's going to a Baptist church there in North Carolina, kind of close to Asheville, and they're well equipped. Uh, apparently they do a lot of relief stuff, which is good to hear, and they'll get it in the right hands. Um, so we're blessed that way. I encourage anybody that can help these folks in North Carolina East, Tennessee, even Florida, Georgia. Uh, if you if you happen to be one of our viewers, we have viewers in Georgia. And, um, I know Tennessee, Kentucky. Anything would be greatly appreciated. The from all the stories we're hearing from uh, other sources. The only real help that, the real substantial help they're getting is from private donations and, and um, I guess FEMA and them are tied up with something else, uh, whatever they're doing there. And the National Guard I know has been helping some there, but um, I know that also a couple days after the storm state of Tennessee federal government activated 700 guardsmen from Tennessee and sent them overseas 
burns me up a little bit, I'll tell you. They got the need right there in their own state. Those 700 guardsmen could have went along, guardmen and guards women, went a long ways with helping their own state, the people, their neighbors, you know. So, uh, just kind of shows you that uh, our our governmental agencies have their priorities turned around, as far as I'm concerned. I urge you, <coughs> excuse me, I urge you to vote with a clear conscience this fall, a month from now. Um, vote for people that you, whether whether it's Democrat or, or Republican, what, whatever, independent, whatever you are, vote for who you believe will help your country, help your state, help your local municipality, but use your heart and uh, let's get this country back on track again. Okay, I just got back from Tennessee, changed my clothes, out of my work clothes, and the, I, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to um, Arnold and Shirley, to Alan, our pastor, to um, our brother-in-law and sister-in-law, Eddie and Siobhan, um, for all the donations, Jerry from work for the donations of stuff that I was able to take down there today. And um, I didn't film a whole lot while I was there by the truck uh, loading. Of course, I was helping them. Uh, when I got there, the back of the truck was all plugged up from stuff where people had been bringing it and just setting it on the back. Uh, I want to say thanks to... Um, Mark Sewell, uh, pastor from a, a local church that's uh, organized all this, and and Cordell Trucking, um, they, uh, like I said, are gracious enough to uh, provide a truck and trailer and driver to get the stuff to a, a church. It's going to a church. All this stuff is going to a church in North Carolina, real close to Asheville, and they're. Um, uh, they're well versed in helping with uh, um, distributing goods to needy folks. So they have a lot of horsepower there and a lot of manpower there to help. And we're very thankful to them. I, I don't want to mention the names of churches. Uh, it's nobody's business, but um, the church's business. So uh, it's been, it's a huge effort. Um, to get all this stuff. I know there's a lot of people that do a lot more. We're, we're kind of far away from, from the disaster area. So it's, it's not like I can pack all my chainsaws and my gears and tools up in the truck and uh, drive over there and help. Um, and basically you'd be in the way, uh, at, at this point, I think if they would even let you help, um, from what I hear, uh, Things, um, they're trying to organize uh, things, and it's taking quite a while to get that organization stuff done in order to get in and, and help the people. But there is there is roads that uh, are non-existent anymore going up in them hills, and uh, people's lives are washed away literally and, and, and their lives and their livelihoods gone forever and we we just wanted to do a little bit we we're not doing this for views on our channel we, you know we don't we're not a real big channel but um we're if it helps one person if if one person sees this video and donates one case of water that's going to help somebody and um we believe that uh, these people need the help and that's where the help should go. Um, I got home. I, I haven't actually eaten anything today at all. And um, Ivanka's in um, 
making me something to eat right now. And I, I just kind of wanted to close out this video and let, let everybody know, um, that people far and wide are helping and, um, any of our viewers, if there's anything we could ever do for you, uh, we would be more than happy to. Um, but, uh, I just, I just felt the need to share a little bit about what these folks here in Southern Kentucky and, and Northern Tennessee here, we live close to the border. These churches are doing, um, their part to help. And it, it's a, it's a good feeling. But it's you have a sinking heart because of what those folks are going through over there, and if there's uh, you have to excuse me if I'm not looking right at the camera, it's real bright. <laughs> um, we uh, we as Christians are supposed to help, and uh, that's what we want to do always. Uh, be found in in uh, doing the Lord's will and. Um, We'll, we'll always do that. So anyways, uh, I'll quit rambling and end this video. And we'll, if you haven't watched our channel before, um, we ask you to subscribe, hit the like button if you like it. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. <laughs> but um, until next time, from our Kentucky home, God bless.